Let's let's talk about something a little more positive. The Cleveland Browns. Now, you obviously, your brownies, I'm surprised you didn't have your brown shirt on today. No, 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 no. Well, that's a different story. I can't I can't fit in there. I'm working on that. All right. We we're gonna get that fixed by that. I got I got I went season. I went crazy for about a month and and <laughs> I understand, brother. I understand. You ain't gotta explain it to me. I know what's up. Their win total sits at ten and a half. Juiced to the over, minus 120 to go over, minus 110 to go under, to win the division, plus 135, right behind the Ravens at plus 125. So that is definitely good. To win the AFC, they are plus 650. To make the playoffs, minus 260 to not is plus 200. They are projected favorites in 13 out of 17 games, and they have the second easiest schedule in the NFL this season. They have gone over, under, and over the last three seasons, went 7-2 and two in one-score games last year. They got the number one offensive line, number one running back room. They uh, Stefanski proved to be a good head coach last season. That's definitely a welcome addition for sure. Super easy schedule based on projected win totals. Defense ranked number 23 in EPA per play last year on fourth downs. But you want to talk about a talent overhaul. You could see as many as eight new starters on this defense because these guys are unreal. Like, they did some fantastic stuff. Offensive line only missed seven total games last year. You're going to need them to stay healthy. Mayfield was 31st in the NFL uh, QBR against pressure last year. If you can keep a clean pocket, Baker Mayfield can be really, really good. So as long as those guys stay healthy, he's going to be fantastic. They won 11 games despite having a minus 11-point differential for the season, which is absurd. BJ returns. And, you know, with him and Landry, uh, that's great. But there ain't a whole lot of depth at wide receiver. But, again, they, they make up for it in other places. I have got this team going over the 10 and a half. I've got them winning 12 games this year. I think this franchise is being built beautifully. So, I'm going to tell a little story. You and I are from Memphis. Yep. Okay, We're Grizz fans, all right? We lived through a decade of Chris Wallace just – causing us to drink heavily and and probably oh, yes. going to take years off of our life because he didn't know how to run a franchise, right? Yes. He didn't now know how to the build Grizzlies, a team. I, I know people who don't care about the NBA are just going to get a little NBA lesson. Now the Grizzlies are being talked about like they're one of the best-run organizations in all of basketball, in the NBA, and Memphis fans are ecstatic just because people think we're competent now, all right? My Browns have, have been... Maybe worse than the Chris Wallace era for the last decade, right? And now they have a front office that's good. My fear is, are those two front offices really that good? Are our standards so low that that anything competent looks like it's the best front office in the world? So that that's something that worries me because I know that potential is out there, okay? I think this team is really good. I I do think this is one of the few teams in the NFL this year. I, I think there's probably only seven, maybe eight teams in the entire NFL this year that can win the Super Bowl. I think this is one of them. I think they're in that elite class of, of that good. Now, defense has got to be better. I think the defense is going to be a lot better. But yes, they stole the rookie linebacker that the entire world is a is about to regret right now. JOK is going to hurt people's feelings. All right. He's gonna <laughs> steal your girl. He's gonna take your mama out for dinner. And and they are going to spend Mother's Day and Valentine's with him and not you for the rest of your life. Okay. He's I'm so impressed by this kid. <laughs> He's I need Miles unreal. Garrett to stay healthy. If Miles Garrett stays healthy, that front seven went from being one of the worst front sevens outside of Miles Garrett to being one of the best. All right. Yeah. And Miles Garrett's probably going to be in the conversation for for defensive, player, defensive of the year. player of the year. Yeah. And and the secondary is where we got a just a shitload of question marks, but we got a shitload of depth. So if somebody gets hurt, we finally got a bunch of guys we can throw out there. I don't know that any of them are going to ever be Stephon Gilmore. Okay. But I don't need him to be. All right. I just, I just need them to be good, and I need them to be competent, and I need them to be capable, and I think they're all that. Offensively, I think the offense is going to take a big 
step forward. Last year, like the last six or seven games of the season, basically the Browns, Baker played like shit for the first, I don't know, over half of the season. Then they played four games back to back to back to back to back. I don't know if that was enough backs or not. Maybe one too many. <laughs> it might have been one too many. <laughs> Where they either played in a blizzard or a monsoon. Okay? And then we came out of that. So you got to throw all those stats away. Even if he looked good, it doesn't matter. That's all. All the statistical analysis that you get from playing in a monsoon is garbage. All right? The, the rest of the game from that point forward, he had the number one QBR rating of the, of the entire NFL. All right? If he can build on that, I'm not saying he's going to be the best quarterback in the league. Don't need him to be. I think this team is really good. I need him to be in the top third. Okay, I need to be in the top, you know, 10 to 12 in the NFL. That's it. That's all I need Baker to be, and I think he can be that. I think Odell has a big prove-it year. I think Chubb has a lot to prove getting that money. I think Hunt, because he's constantly signing nothing but one-year deals, has a lot to prove. I think this team can win the Super Bowl. I've got them 13 wins just on paper. There's a world where... I believe they're going to beat the Chiefs week one. I believe that's going to happen. What worries me is the schedule that they that they look so good against towards the end of the season was not great. Like it was, they didn't play anybody very difficult. They lost to the Raiders. They had a bye week, and then they beat Houston, Philly, Jacksonville, and then they won at Tennessee in a super close game. They lost to Baltimore. Then they beat the Giants. They the lost. The Baltimore game was the game that. Yes, 47-42. Yep. Lamar pooped his pants and then came back and had a miracle. Yes. He, maybe he pooped himself and then he made room for that horseshoe that he shoved up his ass. Yes, 100%. I mean, you got to clear out a little space if you're going to put something else up there. I understand that. But I then mean, they lose at the Jets, and then they beat the, the Steelers' backup team, and then they destroyed the uh, the Steelers in the playoffs, like just uh, so, that was so that glorious. loss of the Jets game. They they were decimated by injury as well, and they didn't start a bunch of guys. That yeah, was, that was a hundred percent. They knew they could lose that game as because all they had to do was beat the Steelers, and it was get everybody healthy for the Steelers game. Even though they're bringing backups in, you still don't want to take a chance with that, and then and then be healthy for the playoffs. So yes. that 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 you can kind of figure out. Look, I can't control the schedule. Okay. Oh, same. But here's the thing: this schedule this season is just as easy as last season was. Like it's it, it maybe more I'm not, so. I'm not worried about an easy schedule. I want to split with the Ravens. I want to beat the Chiefs Week One. That's all I care about. There you go. I want to sweep the other two. Okay, that's it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G and any at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.